Hey friends, I am trying to find motivation this morning. I've been working on the computer. It's 11 o'clock and just going over my schedule. I've been doing um, scheduling for my book club book exchange and voting for next year. I'm gonna host that party, which is leading me to the conversation of should, I'm standing here by the fire because my feet and my back end are very cold. Um, you can't even see the fire, a little fire down here. I am not going to work out this morning. I might work out this afternoon or tonight. I uh, got a very late start to working out yesterday. I ended up getting a scan, an ultrasound scan to volunteer here for and so I did that in the morning and it went an hour longer than they expected it to and then that delayed Jason and I going to um, Costco and running our errands we need to go and start prepping for Christmas I'm going to I'm just I'll, let's be right back this is where I'm going to start and you would think that like yeah it's clean what's wrong <laughs> I just need to I need to declutter it at uh, sometimes when I start to decorate for Christmas I'm like oh I don't know where is an empty space where could I put this Christmas decoration I think I might take everything off or I might just do it like one shelf at a time like I know I'm going to decorate with these but I'm not going to decorate with something like this so like something like this is going to set aside and then I might just like start if you what I should do is put like all the houses in one section and then wipe everything off I'm talking it through as I'm filming this with you guys so I might put all the houses in one section all the trees in one section and then wipe everything off. Like I could put all the trucks um, in one little section and then start to, like I don't even know why that Santa is here. I think this is one of the things that Jason got from his dad. I don't know if there's any sentimental value in that. It doesn't seem like it, um, but I'm gonna put that with the stuff Jason has for his family. He's still got a mail stuff to his siblings, but I think I'm gonna start with that. Some of the books I have just kind of stacked up there just because I don't know where else to put them. Um, so they might come off the shelf so that I can actually decorate down there more. A lot of this section doesn't actually get decorated a ton because the tree it fills up this whole space. Uh, so like this box will probably likely just stay like this and I'll probably fold a little Christmas towel over it um, just because I keep all of my chat books in here but it could use a good dusting and this doesn't belong in there anyway I'm so that's what I'm gonna start with today this is kind of set here for now I don't know it's really nice having it here now because I'm not technically going to decorate for Christmas for like another week or week and a half and it would look good here when we host for Thanksgiving Thanksgiving. So that's kind of my biggest thing is that I would love to go ahead and decorate the mantle with that little swag, but hang up candy from the floor and wrappers. Ashley likes it up here underneath this little table. Plug her iPad in and cozy up and work on things. So I find wrappers underneath here all the time. Anyway, I have to host Thanksgiving dinner, so I don't want this space all dashed out in Christmas, but at the same time, right after Thanksgiving, like literally Friday afternoon, Jason has the day off. I don't know if he's going to work Saturday but he has Friday off I want to go full bore on Christmas so I want all of this space ready to go I need to dust that mantle I also need to declutter the little center stand and take off that little runner and I want to do a little something different here in the kitchen it's obviously time to take the hydrangeas down <laughs> clearly it's not anywhere near summertime it's worked and I'll just put them up in the cupboard. Um, but also, this little hot cocoa bar is not really working. And the toaster situation is not working. Um, yeah, this isn't working. Uh, I don't like things like this being left out on the cap on the counter. But I, I really want. The kids are enjoying having hot chocolate, and I don't mind it. But I have ideas for a full cocoa bar. But it might mean that all of this kind of changes. Like I don't know where I'm going to put the jars, but this might change. I don't, I don't, I don't know. But this isn't working to have this jar on here because it. I think it's gonna break this little tray. Um, side note, Ashley made these cute little cookies last night. The cookies kinda got overcooked. <laughs> So no one wanted to eat them last night. I kind of feel bad. She worked so hard on them. Oh well. So as you can see, I'm kind of in a dilemma. I, don't, I just don't know where to start. Like I really want to do a hot cocoa bar. Like I want to do full on Christmas hot cocoa bar. And it's going to take a large chunk of that counter space. Which is totally fine because I think it'll look really, really cute. And it will be effective. It'll get used. But I want it to be efficient as well. I don't want it to like always look like a mess. I want the kids to be able to easily pull out a hot cocoa packet. I want to have jars of marshmallows, jars of candy canes, which leads me to, I need to go to Target. But then 
then do I want Christmas splashed in here before Thanksgiving? So, <laughs> like frustrating. Um, maybe I should just go for it. I don't know. But I also can't get all the buckets down myself. I have to have Jason's help. And we have plans tonight to take the kids to their church activities. And um, I might have to work out tonight. So I think we're going to start here. This is the most important area to get cleaned up um, and decluttered. So let's start. Let me give you a Christmas moment we'll fill with love and joy. So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you. I don't need any presents as long as I spend this day with you. Mm -mm, so beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you. Ooh. I'm making plans for what we're gonna do. I feel so blessed that I can be with you. Cause God knows that I've been longing. dirty that shelf was that this was a white towel that is so nasty all right I've got most of the houses on the shelf here almost all of my trees here I've got the rest of the houses down here and then this is just kind of extra decor and then I've got all of my trucks here a lot of this will get used I just took it down to clean and to like kind of figure out what the space is going to do I did leave this basket down here and kind of wipe down around it um but I don't I just don't know what to do I love this photo for Christmas because it has the red I just always feel bad that it's not with Ashley in it so actually maybe we should go and do our family pictures on the train tracks. This is up in North Bend. This isn't where we do our normal like back to school photo, but maybe we go and recreate. Obviously, I'm not going to hold Ashley, <laughs> but maybe we do a fun little recreation of that one. All right, next up is cleaning in here. Just going to dust off the mantle. I'll leave the tree here for now. I mean, I'll leave all of this here for now, minus the basket. I think I can take the basket down. That probably won't stay here, and I could probably use that somewhere else. This is caked in dust. Look at this, watch. That's, that's nasty. So I did kind of wipe off my towel, kind of rinsed it off, because it's about to get really dusty. That's really nasty. Okay, much better, but like I said, I'm just gonna leave that there. Tree fell down. So we're just gonna put the tree up. I will be using the tree, likely right here, but I do need to look for something else height-wise. I don't think these two signs will stay here. I might actually use the back side of this one with an idea that I have for the front table. I know the garland's gonna go here. I just think I might keep it simple with not having a background of those. So that section is done. For now, I think I might use this basket on the counter over here. That'd be kind of cute with the hot cocoa. Let's, we're, we're gonna start. Just cause I need to like not have that like that and I'm not doing a full cocoa bar yet. So we're gonna empty all the hot cocoa into this basket cause it's cute and it can sit here on the counter. Actually what I should do is I'll put the hot cocoa in here and then I need to wipe the counters. Kaylee did not <laughs> wipe the counters. She got a fever I think two nights ago. Anyway, it was a thing. So she hasn't done her counters. She is at school today. No fever by the way. But but um, I need to wipe down the counters because they're pretty bad. All right, while wiping down the counters, I think I'm going to move this and I'm gonna change out this mat. I don't know if I have a Christmas one out here though. So I don't know, I'm still debating, but it needs to get wiped down anyway. Shining just for you, let's take a walk. And we can follow the moon till we reach a place we can stay. Maybe kiss a bit and dream away. And in a while we're gonna go inside and drink our chocolate by the fire Cause all I want is to spend this day with you Let me give you a Christmas A moment we'll fill with love and joy mm -mm, So beautiful, kissing on a mistletoe's baby with you I don't need any presents As long as I spend this day Give you a Christmas 
Here's the progress. That's recycling. Don't know what I'm gonna do with the jar. I might make a little holiday display in it and put it here because I'm sick of that being used as an office space. We all know who the culprit is over there. Uh, this is all dirty laundry. I think I might go to Target and find a Christmas one. I have a thin, thin one, but I like this one because it's like I can put the cups on it, like these guys. When they come out of the dishwasher or when we just use it for water, I tend to just put them back on here, but then they drip. Using this, which is an actual like drying rack pad, I think, um, it actually helps um, contain some of that water. Plus, I like the thicker look of it. But anyway, then we've got dishes. I'm not loading because Abby didn't unload this morning, so they need to do that. But I have washed a pan. I did wash this pan. Clearly, I didn't wash the lid. Let's put the lid back in here. Let's do that. But then over here, I've just got empty space, which is totally fine. I'm gonna leave it empty because I'm gonna fill it with Christmas stuff. We'll do a little tear on here, um, but I wanted this space nice and clean. Okay, this corner, I might do something different. Actually, I am gonna do something different. I'm going to create like a toaster bar. <laughs> I absolutely hate having the toaster on the countertop. I don't know why I don't like appliances on the counter. I like it clean, easy to wash off. But the kids use this toaster every single day. So I might go get a little mat or a little box or something to put it on to contain the mess because like half the time all the little crumbs just fall out on the counter and I can't stand it. But then there will be a spot for the butter and possibly a little tray for a knife. I might find something like that. I don't know if I'm going to do anything in the corner. I might do that little I might take this jar and make a little house snowy scene and put that in the corner, but we shall see. Right now I'm loving that it's empty. And then over here, again, I'm gonna find another mat to put this on um, and the bananas, but I might move these bananas. <laughs> Maybe I'll get Ashley to make some banana bread tonight, uh, but I might move the bananas to the tray that I have the toaster on Just depending on how big of a tray or a mat that I find but I did do this as the makeshift cocoa bar for now I will turn this into more of a Christmassy one as we go into the holiday more and I pull out my decorations These are the new cups that I got from Costco. They're not super festive Which is actually like really good right now because I don't want it to be um, but I also can use them and and use them up. So that is all I'm going to do here in the kitchen. We shall put this stuff in the wash. That's not dirty, or that's not a towel to wash. All right, so I don't wanna get like all, I don't wanna do more than that, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. I don't wanna dive into this anymore. I might just put some of this stuff back on the shelf, but I might, I might leave it there to kind of force myself. This is actually my tripod. <laughs> I might leave it there to force myself to kind of deal with it and get the Christmas decorations out in the next day or two. I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. The cleaning part is the part that was kind of annoying me the most, especially with having company coming over soon. I wanted to make sure that the space was clean and now I feel like it is. Now we can just maintain the cleanliness of the counter and the living room. I've already dusted. You know what I mean? Like when you have company, you don't want to see dust. Or you don't want to like, like this just needs to get wiped off again. Um, I did dust it. It's just kind of collected. Um, anyway, whatever. But I think I'm gonna go to Target. Not to like go full bore on Christmas decorations by any means, but to find like a tray or some, I don't know, I don't know. We're just gonna go um, play it by ear, see what we can find. Um, I have seen some cute trays there but I don't wanna spend a ton of money, but I do wanna contain the toaster. That way, it, it was working well with it being on the little spinny thing, but I just have other purposes for that now. I think it'll make a cute cocoa bar. <sighs> Let's go. Hold up, I am on my way, I'm in motion. Let's go to the ocean. Yeah, let's go outside. We can hang out on the beach with our free. Isn't that amazing in Christmas times? We'll be chilling and having a good, good time. Hi. I, this is not something I've ever seen before. Novelty toilet paper. <laughs> what the heck? Is that like for your guest bathroom or something? Like, I have no idea. Like, that's ridiculous, but also kind of cute. I found them, you guys. These little drying mats. It's the perfect red. So that's perfect for, I don't remember what I was going to put on this. The little, I can't 
can't remember, but I know I was gonna put something on that. Okay, I really want these cups. And if they had all six of them, I probably would get them today. Like, there's like cute gold on the top. I don't know, we always just use my mason jars. But these are really cute. They have like Santa ones, but I don't do Santa. Like, I don't really like decorate with Santa much. I do with trees. I really like these. Should I just get three and then go find another Target? Back at home, and as I was driving home, frustrated that I didn't have a tray, I got some candy canes and some peppermint marshmallows, which I haven't ever done before, but I love peppermint and hot cocoa. These kinds will go onto the cocoa bar, and then these ones will, like, be, some of them will be displayed, but I'd rather have the kids, like, eat these ones and use these in their hot cocoa versus, like, eating tons of big ones. They last longer if they just eat the little ones. But it occurred to me that I might have a wooden tray here at home. So I went and looked in my study, and I did. I don't know what's making this kind of tipsy. Okay, there's like a little wall hook on the back side of this. This is just like one of my DIYs. So I've also put a paper towel underneath it because it's got little cracks in the wood. Um, so I'm gonna keep the paper towel under there to kind of catch any of the crumbs. Then I'm gonna take this little piece. So now it's not so wobbly. Not that we're gonna be touching it very much. So we'll put the toaster on there. I'm gonna tuck the cord back behind. But often, Jason unplugs it. But then we're also gonna put this guy there. Actually, we're gonna turn it around hide that little chip in the corner. And eventually I'll have a little tray like that. That one's not for Christmas, but I do have a Christmas one that I will set right here to keep butter knives on, or really Nutella knives. <laughs> I'm gonna put that right here. And I might actually try and see if I can find a Christmas butter holder, um, just because that one doesn't obviously like match Christmas decor. But I think this is a good little solution. I like things to be contained in their own little space, especially for my kids. I want them to know that this is where we do the toast. Make your mess here, clean it up, put the butter back. Um, then we can have decorations here in this corner and then I've got something to go here as well. So like I said, these drying mats from Target are amazing because they're nice and squishy, but then they um, they kind of soak up the water from cup. Even if they're dry, they're clean, coming out of the dryer, coming out of the washer. Um, they just work really good and it stays on the counter really good because it has like this good material on the back. It stays in place. All right, here you go. Bad bananas and all, that's fine. Eventually, we will have holiday mugs. I have these guys. They actually do not work really well for um, <laughs> making hot cocoa in, just because, I'm gonna put it where you can actually see a little wreath on the side. Um, these ones don't work very good because they, it's just, it barely fits a cup of milk in there or water, and then it's like no room to stir it. So if I make it ahead of time, then it's easier to use these and I can just pour it in. But eventually I'll have like all of those hanging. So it'll look good, but I'm not gonna put those out right now. Okay, so I put some marshmallows here. I'm gonna hide the rest of these. Um, it's going to change as I redo this for actual Christmas stuff. But for right now, it'll look cute and kind of cozier as we do Thanksgiving. And then I'll change it when we do Christmas. Okay. I've added a few candy canes. I'm not putting all of them out. I'm just doing a few to kind of tempt the kids, but these will be gone super fast. I'm gonna try and make sure the kids only eat them if they make hot cocoa. <laughs> They're just too tempting and they actually are too good. So we'll see. I don't know, but I've hidden the rest in this bag. I'm gonna put it out in the garage um, and hopefully we can kind of have this in use for at least a couple weeks. That might be all the Christmas stuff I do today. I'm already feeling a little overwhelmed with all of this here. I don't know. It works because this little nook, I actually might clean this up. Probably gonna clean that up because I don't want the look of a nice cute little cocoa bar when I actually end up doing one and then have the mess of the magnet. So I never love having magnets on the fridge to begin with. It is what it is. But today is um, November 8th. We don't talk about politics much on this channel, but it is November 8th and it is important to vote in this country at this time more than I think ever before. That's all I will say. So while I know most likely what color my state of Washington is going to go, it likely will stay blue. Um, I voted because I want to make sure it stays blue, but I'm more invested in primary elections than I ever have been in my entire life. It is detrimental to make sure this primary election goes the right way. And I purposely didn't plan much beyond this part of my day, beyond like this afternoon, because I need to tune in to the news. I wanna watch the polls. 
I'm gonna tune out from you guys for just a bit because I wanna tune in to what's going on, on in the news. I just hope and pray it goes the right way. And if you disagree with the outcome, I'm sorry, but I have a husband and four girls to take care of and myself, we deserve right. And that's all I'm gonna say. Keep my opinion beyond that to myself, but I want to make sure we're all taken care of in this country. So I'm gonna go and watch and hope for the best. All right, I've literally done nothing. He just got home, he brought me shoes. I'm trying on a pair, but I don't believe that this is one that we actually ordered. It is, we just pressed, I don't know. No, I wanna look at it on your computer because I don't remember ordering a wool slipper. I need to wear these outside. <laughs> so we'll have to look at that, see if they sent the right one. And then the other one is technically a slipper, but it's like a leather top. Let's see. All right, one out of three have worked. These ones I have in gray, but I can't find them anywhere. I don't know where they went. They're actually just slippers, <laughs> but I know that they're very comfortable. I wore these in gray last year and the year before, and I loved them around town. They're not like waterproof, but they're definitely like better than like what I've currently got. These ones right here, these are both keen. Um, just not quite what I expected color-wise, and it's really big and kind of floppy right here, like where your feet bend, so. That one is a no. Luckily, you know, we have a shoe store. He can go and sell those still. But I actually might see if any of my friends want these. Offer a discount and try and sell it to them. These are comfortable, it's just not what I need because this is technically a slipper. So I don't really need one. Unfortunately, I've done nothing else but watch TV. And you guys know me, I do not sit and watch TV. I don't know what this is, it's an ad. But really, I am watching that. Kind of glued to it even though we're not gonna have any results tonight and he's purposely not watching it because he doesn't want to know <laughs> and it stresses him out too much stressing me out to the point where i haven't really eaten until just now i had we made the crunch wrap supremes last night and so we have leftovers he's having his right now and i think abby is not gonna have one she kind of got some dinner she has a headache again babe uh, who? abby she took a nap woke up about a half hour ago she's gonna see if the medicine works for her to go to her activity tonight um can you put that in the fridge i might have another one. Oh, then you can clean it we will take chelsea to her activity and then we'll just wait for her um so i'm gonna take some pictures of these and see if any of my friends want to buy those off of me otherwise he'll just take them to the store and we'll sell them up there yes we're sitting in the car waiting for chelsea she's at a church activity and we've been watching enola holmes too Highly recommend it. The first one's great. Yeah. Second one's fun. I yeah. haven't, haven't finished it, but. We haven't finished it, but she's coming out, and I'm kind of wanting to <coughs> either do the goat sound or the other whoopee cushion sound when she comes up. What All right. Over we have it set to be outside the car and a ludicrous sound, and then he's going to turn the s signal on the car as soon as she comes out of the building. She's going to love it. Also, it's 32 degrees outside. This is like unheard of for November. Here she comes, but she can't see my camera or else she'll know something's up. Hey, get ready. Somewhere on the back of the car. Walking over now, and they're getting <laughs> <laughs> Can you hear it? Yeah. Back at home, we're gonna end our night. She's going to bed. Going to bed. You got your dishes done though, and I will set up your play date for tomorrow. Both of them, or just the one? Yeah. Ask both of them. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna sign off, and everyone's awake, so we're gonna get everyone in bed and call it a night. Both you and I might go climb into bed because I'm done. But you had a good day. It was a good day. It was tricky day, but it was good. Just tricky customers, or? Yeah, it's, it's just, it's a good day, not a bad day, it's just a day. All right. Well, I got myself a utilitarian pair of shoes. Not as cute as I want, but they are comfortable. I already know they work. They work in the rain. Hope you guys are having a good night. And have you started decorating for Christmas yet? Okay. I think I got permission from Jacob to fully start decorating for I Christmas, have correct? A for you, guys. Uh, you have a surprise for me? Yeah. And Elsie and Ashley. Why? Elsie and Ashley. Elsie. Elsie and Ashley. Do you want me to film this? Eh. No? no. Okay. Well, now they're going to wonder. <laughs> okay, one. guess who's coming back for a couple days? I know, I know who it is. From what? Kimberly? Kimberly? Yeah. Oh, a friend of yours. She's coming back from Sweden? Well, that's cool. Yeah, Just coming for a visit? And you can see how tall I am. I can't explain on camera. Oh, okay, that's fine. Um, what's what, the tape right there? That's your tape for PT, right? Yeah. 
We need to get more. Yeah. Did they send that, you home with any? Yeah. Did they send you home with any, or do we need to go get some? I, I mean, he said, oh, you can wear it for a couple of days. I'm like, I don't want to wear this for continuous days. So. Is it just for when you do the exercises? I mean, it does feel. I mean, it's still helpful. Oh, yeah. so Are you yeah. doing that instead of the brace then? No, no. Oh. The brace is way more. Oh. This is just. That's what Jacob wore. Well, and like on ankles and stuff. Yeah. Okay. All right. That's a fun surprise. A friend of Kaylee's used to live up the street, moved to Sweden during the pandemic. Three so, years ago. Three years ago. Chelsea what? was Ash's age. Yeah, that's crazy. And she's just coming for a visit. So that's kind of fun. Um, all right, take care you guys, and we'll see you guys next time. Of all the magic places in the world I've been to, this is where my heart is. Oh, you know it's true. No matter where I go, I'm coming home to you.